Hey, what is going on guys? Jake the Happy Snake here, and welcome to my brand new Let's Play. And the game I will be playing is Mario Kart DS for the Nintendo DS. I didn't actually need to say what system it was for because it says it in the title of the game. But anyways, I'm actually playing this on my Wii U because I think it'd be kind of too difficult to actually play it on my DS, because I do have this game on the DS, obviously. Um, but, um... The, it came on the Wii U Virtual Console like last year, I think, or something like that. Um, but, anyways, so here we are, and I, this might not be the most efficient way to record a Let's Play because I'm actually using a camera and I'm recording my TV screen. I literally have the camera sitting on, I think it's like 30, 32 cases, um, like PS2 cases, Xbox 360 cases, Wii cases, and Wii U cases because that's the only way I can kind of do it. So. If, yeah, if you were here to, to see it, it, would, it looks pretty funny. Anyways, so uh, this is probably my favorite Mario Kart game. I have this one on Mario Kart 64. Um, and I'm going to be playing on 150cc, because it's the boat, it's just the most standard, I, I guess. And I'm going to be playing as Dry Bones. I like playing as Dry Bones. And the Dry Bomber is, uh, well, you have to see, here you have 30, 36 different uh, cards. Actually, I'm going to show all the characters there are. There are, it, there are 12 characters, there's Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, Bowser, Wario, Donkey Kong, Toad, Daisy, Dry Bones, Waluigi, and Rob. I know Rob's kind of random to have in a, yeah, have in a Mario Kart game, but anyways, so I'm going to be playing as Dry Bones because I like, I like using Dry Bones, and there are 36 different carts, each character has, have, uh, each, char each character has three carts. Um, each character has a cart like this one, this is uh, the standard Rob, so that's uh, like one of Rob's standard uh, carts. Uh, but I like, I like playing in the Dry Bomber, so enough talking, let's go ahead and get, get started. Uh, we're going to be starting off by playing the Mushroom Cup, uh, so there are all the races, and let's go ahead and get started. Now this is, I would like to think of this being one of my best video games, I used to be really good at this game. I'm not sure about now, I still think I'm pretty good, but I haven't played for a while, so. Um, anyways, so, this, this is the uh, figure 8 circuit, uh, this is a race that I think should have been in Mario Kart 8 because, um, because it's a figure 8 and Mario Kart 8 is about figure 8s, so, I, uh, I, I, I don't know, I just think, um, I just don't understand why they didn't put this race in Mario Kart 8. It would have made perfect sense. Um, what I'm doing right here is called uh, snaking. Well, sort of. Um, you just drift back and forth. The drifting in this game is quite overpowered because uh, you can just do this. And of course, screw you. Screw you, Peach. Yeah, I've had this game since I was 11. Um, I got it for Christmas of 2009. Uh, and I just got really good at the game. I've gotten pretty good at snaking, at least, or at least I like to think so. And of course there's a blue shell! This game and Mario Kart 64 are two games that I've gr kind of, kind of uh, grown up with. I play a lot of Mario Kart 64. I, I used to play a lot of Mario Kart 64 with my dad and brother, and of course another blue shell. Um, but my, my brother moved out, so now it's just me, me and my dad play. Uh, my dad and I play quite a bit on Mario Kart 64. Um, but I play. I try to put this one when I can in my spare time because I really like this game. Mario Kart 7 and Mar Mario Kart 8 are and, and Double Dash are all pretty good games. Uh, the other ones, uh, Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart Wii, and. Super Circuit are games I haven't really put that much time into, and this is a nightmare. This race is a nightmare for me. This is Yoshi Falls. It is also in um, Mario Kart Wii. It's a race that I'm not particularly good at, and I do not know why. This is not an easy uh, race to snake at. Snaking is where you drift back and forth, kind of like what I was doing in the last race. Yoshi is doing well, which makes sense because it is his race. There's Peach again. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, well, the only thing you just saw was the ink, um, the ink spray thing. And um, some advice if you want to wash that off. It's in any of the games from Mario Kart DS and after, so Wii 7 and 8, or DS, Wii 7 and 8. Um, in order to wash it off, you have to either get on a boost, or I think if you go under water, I'm not sure if it works in this game, but if you go in water in, in the lighter games, then it, that, washes it, that washes it off as well. Um, and crap. Crap, 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 Wow. Yeah, so good at being so good at this game. Like I said, this is a nightmare of a race for me. I've never really been that, been that good at that race, but I can't really help if blue shells are uh, come at the worst times. Anyways, Cheap Cheap Beach is actually a race I don't mind that much. That's actually embarrassing because I like to think of myself as being pretty good at this game. Hopefully I can prove that later on. Plus, the kind of the position I'm playing this in is kind of weird, but I kind of have to accommodate um, the recording. So yeah. And yeah, I know a lot of people. I don't know if anybody even. I'm not sure if there's anybody on YouTube who's actually recorded a let's play or a walkthrough of anything um, using a camera. Because everybody just uses, um, everybody just uses, like, em emulators and capture cards and stuff like that. I, uh, I could do that if it was, like, I, I did do, a, actually, a, uh, walkthrough of, um, Mario Kart Super Circuit a long time ago. I think I completed it, but then I deleted it. I have no idea why I deleted it, but I did. The ink uh, doesn't really bother me that much. I've kind of de learned to uh, deal with it, and I'm all over. The yeah, the dry bomber, which is the car that I'm in right now, it's a, it's a pretty good. Um, uh, it's a really good car to uh, snake with, and wh I'm, I'll try to demonstrate snaking. It's just like when you go like this, where you just go back and forth. But this is not really a good track to uh, do that on. Yeah, this is my first let's play since. Pokemon Fire Red, I'm pretty sure, which I didn't even finish because my computer's had a lot of issues. And lately, in case you haven't been watching my videos, I've been doing nothing but breakpoint pack openings. By the way, my booster box which should be in the mail uh, very soon, actually. Anyways, we got first that race. I can't believe—I mean, I can and I can't believe that, that I came second at Yo uh, Yoshi Falls because that is a—that is not one of my strong stronger races. This race is. Quite interesting. This is Luigi's Mansion. This one is in um, the last race that we were just at, Cheap Cheap Beach. That one, that one was put, put, put back into Mario Kart 8, and this one was put put uh, back into Mario Kart 7. Get out of here, Toad. Nobody likes you. <clears throat> and I just missed the item box, of course. What the heck, Bowser? Which is like blocking me. Yeah, the big guys are really nasty in this game. Like, if you run into them, they push you so far. Especially if you're someone like Toad. A lot of people prefer to snake with the analog stick if they're playing on a system that has an analog stick. If you play on like the original DS or DS Lite, like I used to, there is no analog stick, obviously. There's only on the D-pad. But I actually remember using the D-pad because, like I just said, that's how I um, learned the snake was the uh, D-pad. I never knew how to do it on the analog stick. Um, I'm going to switch the analog stick for a second, like this. And obviously, I, I can't even do it. I just rather would do it on the um, on the D-pad. I'm pl uh, in order, the only control I can use for this game is the uh, is the uh, the gamepad. I can't even use the pro controller, which kind of sucks. But I guess it makes sense because this is a DS game on, on, on the Wii U. Which, by the way, I'm actually gonna just uh, demonstrate something. I can change the screen settings. So if you want to see my bottom screen, I can do it like that. So you can kind of see you can kind of see the bottom screen there, and I can change it. Um, oh wait, hold on a second. There we go. Um, so you can not, you can sort of see like that. You very small, but you can kind of see the uh, bottom part of the, um, the tr like the track and where everybody is. You can't really see. No, you, 
Yeah, I can barely see it myself, and you probably you probably can't even see it at all on camera. Yeah, this is a weird race. <laughs> those trees, those walking trees used to always freak me out as a kid. Boom! There we go. So, yeah, I uh, didn't exactly get uh, first every single race, which I would have liked to have done. Uh, but I never, I don't really like Yoshi Falls that much, and that's kind of why. But, I mean, the, the, the blue shell had nothing to do with, with the actual race itself. It just had to do with bad luck. Anyways, there we go. So we've completed the mushroom cup. Yeah, this is a fantastic game. This is one of my favorite games of all time. Like I said, I I, uh, I got it when I was 11, Christmas 2009. I got it for a um, I got it uh, for a Christmas gift. I got some I got like a $50 Walmart Walmart gift card, and I was like, what, what should I do with this? I have my card. Yes, I was like, dude, I should buy this game. And I bought it, and I've loved it ever since. So, and it was actually my first DS game as well. So there we go. There you have it. Thanks, guys, for watching. There's um, the Mushroom Cup. Uh, please stay tuned for part two. I will be playing through the uh, Flower Cup. So thanks, guys, for watching. Really appreciate it. Please check out my Facebook page. I'll link to that in the description below. Thanks, guys, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.